Welcome to the NETSA Tools video tutorial series created by the Software Engineering Institute at Carnegie Mellon University. This tutorial will walk you through installing some of the NETSA tools onto an Ubuntu operating system for standalone analysis. This tutorial does not discuss setting up the flow connection components of the NETSA tool suite. I'll walk you through installing YAF, Silk, Analysis Pipeline, and Rayon, along with other supporting libraries, onto a single Ubuntu machine. To start, I have a brand new copy of Ubuntu 16.04 loaded on my machine. I want to be sure that all of my installed software is up to date, so I open the terminal window and run sudo apt get Update. Next, I run sudo apt-get upgrade. And hit Y to agree to the install. And to make extra sure I have everything installed, I'll run sudo apt-get dist-upgrade. Once my updates are done, I need to install a few packages required by the NETSA tool suite. I'll need the developer versions of glib2, libpcap, and python. So I run sudo apt-get-y install libglib2.0-dev. Next, I run sudo apt-get-y install libpcap-dev. And lastly, sudo apt-get-y install python-dev. At this point, I can download the NETSA software from the website at tools.netsa.cert.org. I'll need Silk, so I click the download button, agree to the terms, and here I'll choose to save the file instead of open it. Next I want YAF, download, accept, save. Analysis Pipeline, download, accept, and save. Now on the left-hand panel, I'll need FixBuff. Click on Downloads, choose the top most recent release, accept, and save. Now I go back to the home page, choose Netsa Python from the left side, click Downloads, choose the most recent release, accept, and save. Go back to the home page, 
I also need rayon. Downloads. Choose the gzipped tarball. Accept and save. I go back to the home page. Lastly, I need schema tools. Downloads, choose the most recent release, accept and save. And I'm done with these downloads so I can close out my browser and go back to the terminal window. I've just downloaded those tools into my downloads folder, so I'll have to change to that directory using the cd command. Now if I do an ls, you can see all the tools I just downloaded in that folder. We're going to start by installing libfixbuff, and it's important to install these tools in the same order, otherwise you'll get errors about dependencies. So to expand the tarball, use tar-zxf and the name of the package, in this case libfixbuff. I can use the tab key to have it autocomplete for me. Next, change into the directory you just created by typing cd and the directory name. Again, I can just hit the tab key once I've given it a few letters. Type dot slash configure ampersand ampersand make. and then do sudo make install, enter. Now go back to the folder where everything was downloaded by typing cd dot dot. If I type ls dash l, you can see the folder we just extracted for libfixbuff, and we have several more to go. Next will be yaf, so type tar dash zxvf yaf tab, change to that directory. Now we have to give this a package configuration path. To do this, we'll use the export command. So type export pkg underscore config underscore path, this has to be uppercase, equals slash user slash local slash lib slash pkg config and hit enter. Next type dot configure with dash dash enable app label. The app label is optional, but it enables YAF to inspect packet payload to determine what application protocol is in use. There are several other options that you can choose to turn on with YAF, so consult the documentation on tools.netza.cert.org if you're not sure which options are right for you. Next run make. And lastly, run sudo make install. Go back to your downloads folder, and we're going to install silk next. Before we install silk, we need to create a data directory. To do so, type sudo make dir slash data. Now, tar zxvf silk tab. Change to that directory type dot slash configure dash dash with dash libfixbuff equals slash user slash local slash lib slash pkg config slash 
space dash dash with dash python dash dash enable IPv6. You don't have to have IPv6 or Python enabled, but leveraging Python and Silk can be really helpful. And if you'll be inspecting IPv6 traffic, you'll definitely need to have that IPv6 option enabled. Hit enter. And make. And sudo make install. Now, in order to make some of these tools work, we need to specify the LD library path. Instead of exporting LD library path each time you use silk, it's easier to add the following paths to ld.so.conf. So type cat space bracket bracket EOF in caps space bracket bracket silk.conf. This will open up a file called silk.conf. In that file, we put slash user slash local slash lib on the first line, enter, and slash user slash local slash lib slash silk on the second line. Then end of file. Then we move that file to ld.so.conf.do with the move command mv so sudo mv silk.conf ld.so.conf.d enter and run ldconfig to get that into our path sudo ldconfig next we'll install schema tools go back to your downloads folder and open up the lib schema tools tarball. Change to that directory. Enter dot configure. Make. and sudo make install. Change back to your downloads folder. Next, we'll install pipeline. So open up the analysis pipeline tarball. Change to that directory. Enter dot slash configure. Make and sudo make install. Change back to your downloads directory. We just have a couple more. Next is Nets of Python, tar dash zxbf Nets of Python. cd to that directory. This time the command is a little different. Type python setup.py build. Then sudo python setup.py install. Back to your downloads folder and rayon is the last one. 
Tar ZXVF Rayon. CD to Rayon. Type sudo python setup.py install. Go back out. We've installed them all. We need to run the ldconfig command again to make sure analysis pipeline and the other tools can see the library path. Now we can test the tools we just installed. To test silk, use rwfilter dash dash version. That one works. For yaf, yaf dash dash version. That works as well. For analysis pipeline, use pipeline dash dash version. And for rayon, type ry scatterplot dash help. So all of our tools are installed and working, and you can now use them to do analysis. If you would like, you can now delete everything in the downloads folder. Thank you for watching this video from our Nuts of Tools video tutorial series.